one of the founding members of the New World Order. The following contest is a steel cage match. Making his way to the ring from Miami, Florida, weighing in at 280 pounds, Scott Hall. I happen to know a lot of kids who got detention for throwing toothpicks in people's faces. Well, I was never one of those kids. I would never throw a toothpick in class. That's because you were usually the target. Who can forget this man's immortal quote? Hard work pays off, dreams come true. Bad times don't last, but bad guys do. Well, I'm pretty sure Scott Hall is about to cause some bad times for his opponent. It's time to bow to the first real king of WWE. And his opponent from Kansas City, Missouri, weighing in at 253 pounds, the king of wrestling, Harley Race. Bow whether you like it or not, Harley Race is on a crusade to reconstruct WWE as he sees fit. Race displays incomprehensible brutality and will do anything to keep the crown. Classic rivalries with the likes of Hulk Hogan, Jerry Lawler, and many other legends. The message is simple. Kneel before King Race. Well, not everyone supports the King, and I applaud those who fight this corrupt monarchy. Well, Saxton, anyone who opposes the King has to contend with a vicious brawler who's also a superb technician. Forgiving structure is made to keep the outside interference out and all the action between the competitors in. Nowhere to hide. These superstars just have to fight it all out in the confines of the cage. And this crowd is more than ready. Big impact to the back of the neck. He's making his way up the side of the cage. And every inch climb puts you in a more perilous position. Showing off and showing up. All eyes on the bad guy. Saw that one coming. Took advantage. And an inverted atomic drop. Corey, what can be the factor here tonight? Being able to withstand the impact of the cage. No matter who you are, you're going to get thrown into it or run head first into it. Yeah, it's not if you will get launched in the cage, but when. The way a superstar responds to that can be the difference between survival and peril. Yokes up their opponent. Driven down with a sidewalk slam. There's no denying the amount of confidence Hall has. Sleeper slam! Oh, what a kick. Looking for a very... And a drop to the face. It's a rather crude facial reconstruction. That's not very nice. A ripping and tearing at the face. That was showing great awareness of positioning. Grace. Yes, he didn't come here to watch him boast and taunt. Oh, man, just punishing. He thinks he has it. And he breaks the count quickly. It'll take more than that to hold him down. Set up the 
cage wall. He is calling over the referee, saying, I want the door open now. Be careful, Ravenese. You have to be in peak physical condition to pull off a move with that much weight behind it. Dominating shoulder tackle. for all that gloating. Sound suplex. Boom, running FTO plants him. Nicely done. Paul saw it coming. Setting his opponent up. Outsider edge. All oh, night, just finished things. Amazing. I don't know once he executed that, it was good night. You have to wonder how much more can he take. But Hall is not one to let that throw him off his game. He's only throttling up now. Feels like it's opportune time to get out of here. And now he's made it to the top of the cage. And did you hear the impact of that? Refusing to give up even an inch of ground as this match continues. Catches a punch. He's struggling a bit here. Honestly, considering this is a cage match, I'm surprised it took this long for the damage to pile up. Boom, running STO plants him. Nicely done. Planning on what to do next. Ooh, that's too soft to throat. achieve this victory. With a win like this, things have got to taste a little bittersweet right about now.